Howdy everybody, it's your pal Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today's fun Friday, we're going to build a chair. Does that sound fun? It doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't sound fun to me. I'm not real good at putting things together, so I thought it might be fun for this fun Friday to build a chair because the chair that I had had for the last 10 years, the arm broke off and I need arms to put my arms on. So, thought I'd bring it all together. Now, I already started. So I just popped in the wheels. I put on the little hydraulic piece and then I put on the cover. So that's where we are so far. And then I thought, hey, if you have to do this really annoying, hard task, why not bring other people along with you? So, hi, everybody. I have a bag of screws and an Allen wrench. That'll be fun. I have instructions. You can't see them over there. So it says that the next part, oh, and I got a blue chair because they didn't have an orange one. Um, I found this chair on Amazon Prime. It was about half off. So instead of being, I don't know, something well over $100, I got it for like 50 and it's blue. So you can see this says front and then we need to take this handy dandy little piece does it say front on it somewhere how do I know what the front is well I'm gonna say normally this little piece goes in the back so it'll be like this nope because now I see it front I had it totally backwards See, I knew it should say on there something. Let me move y'all down just a little bit more. Oh, oh geez. Oh, we got him worked up. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. We're in a video. And okay. Please stand by, everybody. We're going to have to take care of this issue. Okay, I think I think we got him all settled. He he Ah, thanks. He that was him apologizing. He gets so worked up when he can't be on video. He really likes y'all a lot. He likes that y'all like seeing him and all his shenanigans. So what I'm doing now is just starting all of the screws into the bottom part of the chair. Living that work at home life, sometimes this is what you gotta do. And as it's a fun Friday, and I was doing something that wasn't very fun, I thought I'd bring y'all along. I know I've already said that, but it's still, it's still kind of funny to me, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna hand tighten as much as I can because using the Allen wrench isn't the funnest thing to do. I realized Mickey fell over before I even started. Daniel Tiger might be back. Yeah, there he is. Daniel Tiger fell down. We're not going to worry about them. It's just a fun Friday. We may end up speeding up some of these sections as you watch. Just because... At some point, maybe talking and doing this will get difficult. But so far, so good. I hope y'all have all had a great week. I've been feeling pretty good overall. On Monday, however, had a really bad anxiety attack. Oh, uh. I 
talk to my mama. Feeling better. All right, so that's on. Then it says, hi, Barnum, to put the arms on the seat. So there's the seat, and here are the arms. So step one, which arm goes on which seat? Okay, so I think I figured it out. I think this arm goes on this seat. Yeah, that works. So again, we're gonna put in the screws as little placeholders to get it started. Maybe. We might have to lower this down. Is this the most riveting content y'all have ever seen? I feel like it's just so fun. I am excited about my new blue chair though. It'll make me feel fancy and like I am at work again. Not that we had blue chairs at work. We had black chairs, but they were, I don't know if they were the exact same brand, but very, very similar. So. It'll just make me feel more like I'm working from work instead of working from home. Not that I need that. I like working from home. I got real quiet there for a second. See? Because I was... I wonder... I'm just going to talk all the way through it. I mean, I feel like we're making good time. We'll have to play it by ear and see how it goes. But I think we're doing really well. I feel like there must be a trick that I'm missing. And at some point, this is going to get very complicated. But for right now, we're just, just going along. No issues. Yeah, so for those of you who might not have known, I do suffer from anxiety. And sometimes, panic attacks. So luckily, I did not have a full-blown panic attack. But I did have an anxiety attack. It's weird. It feels like I'm breathing through the wrong hole in my throat. Which is stupid because you only have one hole in your throat. It is your throat. But maybe if you suffer from anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. It just feels like I'm breathing wrong. It starts to hurt a lot along the sides of my, my throat. And normally... I figure it out as soon as I say either out loud or in my brain, maybe you're having a heart attack. That's when I stop and go, you're, okay, you're in an anxiety situation. <laughs> you're not having a heart attack. For some reason, that's always where my brain goes. As soon as anything isn't exactly the way it should be, you are definitely about to die. But you're not. It'll be okay. Um... I was on medication for a while, but since COVID, I have not been back to the doctor. Just telling y'all the truth. Not been back to the doctor and have not gotten my anxiety meds refilled. But I have been taking CBD oil and that has been helping. But obviously not all the way. What triggered it was I went to Target. Oh, dang it. I went to Target. So I went to Target just because I had the day off and I thought I'd go grocery shopping, get some cool keto products, which I did. Felt fine, but I didn't like being around that many people. So, it wasn't, we're going to put this one on the floor too, everybody. So, it wasn't that I was afraid of getting sick, which is what I assumed I would be afraid of. 
I just didn't like being around that many people. And it wasn't a lot of people. Target wasn't very crowded. It was very clean, um, very organized. That's why I decided to go there instead of Walmart because Walmart is often not those things. No offense, Walmart, you're just not. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You're less expensive for a reason. And I'm okay with that too, just not right now, right now. So got home, was feeling fine. And then, I don't know, six hours later, Thought I was having a heart attack and was going to die. And then realized, nope, you're just having an anxiety attack. So, still going to keep doing the same things. Eating the way I'm eating. Um, I had wondered for a second if it was the gluten. I, because I had that big double cheeseburger the day before. And, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was. Um, I'm going to continue to try to eat the gluten products. I don't know why I'm struggling with this one. Screw. It's not wanting to go in for me. And there goes my riveting content. But anyway, I was thinking about it and we'll just have to see if I continue to eat gluten do I continue to have anxiety issues I don't think so though because I didn't have any anxiety issues during my pantry challenge which I um, there we go so just to show y'all what I did a little bit I switched to doing it with a long one which gave me a little bit more leverage so that I could get more torque on it to get it in there I know riveting content and y'all didn't need to know that unless you're putting this type of chair together I will say every chair that I've put in put in no Misty you're not you haven't put in together you haven't put in together nothing. You have put together things. So of all the chairs that I have put together, the screws are almost always in the same place. You have two on the sides for the um, armrest, and then you have two on either side of the back of the chair, which is what we're moving into now. Mm. I wonder if y'all have suggestions, but this is not a live video, so y'all can't answer. I'm okay if you're not watching this video. How much time do I have before I gotta... Oh yeah, we still got time. Um, this just... I have to say, overall, compared to my other chairs that I have put together, this is very nice, and I'm super excited about it. It's very well made, and as I say that, I found one little strand of cloth. It's very well made, and I don't know if y'all can really tell, but like this has a, a latch piece. This is too dark, but it latches right into there, so it makes the holes extremely easy to line up which in theory I bet y'all are laughing at how I'm making this the hardest project ever but this is the way that I know how to do it oh no please don't tell me I just lost the Allen wrench nope I did not lose it it's right there so where was I being afraid of people and Wondering if it had anything to do with gluten. I think that's where we were. Social anxiety is no fun. And I know several people think we're going to put this down to get better access. Um, how can you do YouTube if you have social anxiety? And to you, I say what I have said before. Because I am home alone by myself when I make YouTube videos. 
there's no social anxiety involved. There's nobody here but me and Barnum, and I, I know him, and he's not a person, and he doesn't bother me. So, anyway, I think I was saying, I, I don't think it's the gluten because I did the pantry challenge and didn't suffer from anxiety. I think it's just one of those stupid misty brain things. I think I'm not going to tighten these screws in all the way just so that I can make sure I get the other side on as well. And get it latched in. Put it down again. Whoops. It's like this back part doesn't want to stay together. That's what screws are for. So, for today's Fun Fact Friday, even though we still have a little bit longer to go in the video. Today's Fun Fact Friday is I am not very handy. I look like I should be very handy. My dad was a construction worker. Well, he still sort of is. He works for the school district and he fixes things, but I don't think he builds as much as he used to. So, I'm not the most handy person, but one thing that I can do, which I think a lot of people don't do, is I follow the instructions as best as possible. There have been so many times at work, in my personal life, where people asked for my assistance on something, and really the only assistance I could provide um, was to follow the instructions. So, pro tip, if you're not very handy, follow the instructions. Those things were written by people who know the best way to put the product together. If there are pictures, even better, because I'm a visual learner. And pictures help me a lot. All right. That's starting to look good. Just going to tighten down this other side. So, yeah. Oh, no. Some, they found me out. They know I'm not working. I'm sorry. I'm, you're just going to have to wait. I'm almost done with my chair. I can see who it is. They, they can wait. Because I already know what they're calling about. But they're calling me earlier than I told them to. I still have seven minutes. It's okay. Doo -doo -doo. So right now I'm just trying to lock down the last of these um, screws. One thing that I will say so far that I that I don't like, and it's really the only thing so far that I can see that I don't really like, is other chairs I've put together, putting, why, um, other chairs I've put together, we're just going to roll with it, is they have like little covers that you can pop in the holes to like make it flush. So it's more just a design aesthetic, but... I mean, I it just, it makes it look a little cheaper than what it actually is. However, the construction, like I said, is very solid. It feels like it's going to be very comfortable. Okay, seriously. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to have to talk to him, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> and, and we're back. And everything's all screwed in. So tight, firm, good grip, um, oh dang, you're not going to be able to see, hold on, hold on everybody, hold on everybody, we're back, but we don't edit, we just pause and come back, so this, 
Let's see here. Let's see if we can move this down a bit. So the last piece should be that this part goes on this thing. We did it. We have a chair. Did y'all see? Did y'all did y'all like that? Did y'all watch? Did y'all enjoy it? You're crooked. Did you know you were crooked? You're not crooked anymore. So, yay! We did it. It worked. Let's sit in it. Hold on. This wasn't the best filming area, maybe, now that I think about it, but... Oh, and y'all get to see that my background is... Whoops. Sorry. Ha ha ha! I'm sitting in my chair and it's comfortable. And it can rock back and forth a little bit. That light's bright, sorry. So that was just for fun. Ooh. Yeah, I have a lot of Mardi Gras beads. I don't I don't know how to decorate and my friend Erin when she lived here one day I was having a really bad day and then I came home and she had decorated and I just never took them down because they're colorful. But, um, anyway, sorry for any weird lighting as I moved this back and forth and things came in and out of focus. I appreciate you joining me. So, for not being very handy, I sure did build the chair and I hope that you're as impressed with me as I am with myself. Again, today's fun fact was that I'm not very handy, but I can follow directions. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. You probably don't need to tell me why. You can, but it's because you didn't want to see me build a chair. I get it. But it was something I was doing, and who knows? One person out there may learn something. Probably not, but that's okay. Subscribe if you know how. You know what? Something else I thought about subscriptions, is, and, and we may change it. But did you know that subscribing to a channel is like empathy for a person? It's something you can do to make them feel better, and it's free. So I'm just saying. Give a little empathy. Subscribe. Uh, comment down below. Have you ever built a chair? Have you ever built something that was challenging? Are you handy? You know, or just say hi. You know, it's Kaylee, by the way. Hi, Kaylee, by the way. Um... <laughs> So, I'm sorry, that's just the cutest thing ever. If you haven't seen, and Kaylee, yeah, I'm talking about you, but two other people. So, if you haven't seen, Kaylee likes to comment on my videos, and she'll comment, and then she goes, it's Kaylee, BTW. Kaylee, by the way. So, that's, I've been calling her Kaylee, by the way. So, that little, another little fun fact for you on this fun Friday. And with that, we're gonna call it a video. So, until next time, I'll see you real soon.